Creme brulee has got to be my all time favorite dessert. And this recipe is creamy, it's light, there's a lovely layer of caramelized sugar on top. It's so beautiful. Okay, it's a very, very simple recipe. So we're gonna heat our pan. We have 300 mils of whipping cream and 100 mils of full fat milk, if that's what's in there. So I'm gonna scrape all this out, because we're gonna keep the jug, and you're gonna see why in a minute. Now, I hope you got to see my recipe on the Instagram page for the madeleines. So we use the egg whites for the madeleines, and then this is the five egg yolks that we had left over. So we're not wasting anything. Into that, we're going to put in 80 grams of the vanilla scented sugar, or you can use caster sugar. It's just a great way, like if you have caster sugar and you know you have the skin of the vanilla, it gives a lovely flavor. We're going to flavor it with vanilla because it's one of my favorite spices. So I'm just gonna open it out here. And it is an expensive spice, but you know what? It's worth every penny. So just very carefully slide it up here and open it right out there. Perfect. Now scrape that out and I'll just show you. So this is from one half a pod there. Same for the other bit. I won't lose that bit, don't worry. <laughs> scrape it all out. And then this is going to go into your bowl here. So scrape that. So vanilla, you could use cinnamon. I've actually made this recipe with some coconut milk. So instead of the regular milk, coconut milk works really well. Maybe a little splash of Malibu, wouldn't that be nice? And then we're gonna poach some apples with this. It's lovely, works really, really well with the sweetness of the creme brulee. So creme brulee is a very classic French dessert and I've enjoyed many beautiful ones in my life. And uh, this is, I think, as good as any of them. It's lovely and light and creamy. So with the skin from the vanilla pod, we're gonna put that in there. I'll whisk it in a minute, but I just want, actually I'll whisk it first. So I'm just gonna knock out the excess seeds. So we're just scalding this. So this means it's just coming to the boil here. Now in this bowl, we have our egg yolks, the sugar. You can use an electric mixer. I'm just gonna do it by hand. The key to this is to not overbeat it because if you do this, you take in too much air and then you pour your hot liquid in and then you have all these bubbles. You fill your dish, you think it's a full dish, but when all the air bubbles go out, it's um, you have half a creme brulee. So that's really important. So five egg yolks, 80 grams of caster sugar, one vanilla pod, and then in the saucepan, we have 300 mils of whipping cream and 100 mils of um, full fat milk. Okay, that's coming to the boil. I can just leave that just to the side. We're gonna poach some apples. So I'm just gonna use a nice apple juice here from Wexford. So we're gonna do a little apple compost with this. We're going to put some vanilla extract into it. So this is the little vanilla extract. We're gonna put a splash of this in. What really works well with apples is cinnamon. So we're gonna put a tiny little pinch Literally look at a pinch of cinnamon in there. And then we're gonna sweeten it with a tiny little bit of honey. You could use maple syrup. And I'm gonna let this cook for a minute and then I'll dice my apple. But I just wanna come back to the creme brulee because I can see that it is um, coming, the cream and milk is coming to the boil. Okay, so that's just some nice uh, honey. It's from a company uh, produced from Maliva Honey. They're based in Kilkenny. We use them in the restaurant, they're really good. Okay, so this is coming to the boil, if you have a look in there. So it's just coming to the boil, you call that scalding off. And I'm going to switch this off. We're going to bring this over here and we're going to pour the hot on top of the cold. So you give that a whisk. Mm. Smell. It's the vanilla. Okay, next thing we like to do in the restaurant when we make this is pass it through a sieve. So I'm going to use this here and I'm just going to just put it through a sieve. It'll catch the vanilla pods, just using the spoon, scrape it out. You don't want to waste anything. And that's your brulee made, the mixture made. Now we need to cook it. So you can make this the night before, but I always think when you make it fresh, it actually cooks faster. So I'm just gonna get my tray here. So try and pick um, not too deep of a dish. This is roughly about, what, half an inch. These are little ramekins. So four of these. So we divide the mixture here into the four little dishes. So this recipe will do between four, you could actually get six if you use smaller dishes. So make sure you have them nice and full. And then of course the vanilla seeds, look at, go right down to the bottom. So divide them. 
Okay, perfect. So we're gonna cook this what we call bain marie. So this is some boiling water. We're just gonna literally pour half in the tray and we're gonna bake this. So I have the oven preheated at 115. So be careful you don't overfill this. So this is what you call a bain marie. So it's going to gently cook the creme brulee. I'm gonna open up my oven. We're gonna lift this in. And I'm gonna bring this over here. So the oven is at 115. It's a fan oven I'm using. Just be really careful putting it in. And I cooked some last night, which I'm gonna take out in a moment. And they took about 15 minutes. They can take anything from 45 to um, minutes to an hour, to be honest with you. Okay, for our apples, we're going to just gently poach our apples. We're going to um, dice them now, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna poach them in that lovely syrup. So this is definitely something you can have done ahead. Now the, the creme brulee is beautiful with strawberries. It really is, or raspberry. So whatever you like, or even pineapple, works really well, especially if you're doing the coconut and Malibu one, you know. Could be like the flavors of pina colada, which is absolutely gorgeous. So just gonna use all this apple here. I already have some done because this is much nicer cold and it'll keep in your fridge this little compote here. Lovely for breakfast actually with yogurt and some granola. So I'm just taking off the skin, decoring it. My syrup is on there. So that's the apple juice. I sweetened it with the honey, a little bit of vanilla extract and um, a little touch of cinnamon. Works really well in that. So we're gonna dice this into small little cubes. I'm using the small knife, watch the fingers. Okay, that's half that goes in there. We're literally gonna bring it to the boil and then we're gonna switch it off. It doesn't take long at all. Cause I don't want stewed apple. I want a little bit of texture. And as I said, this is much nicer. This is even lovely with some ice cream. So you can use a bigger knife, the smaller knife that you peeled probably makes it easier. So I'm using, uh, you can do this with pear actually too, it works really well. Now, so I'm gonna show you this, I'm gonna switch this off, and then we just let it go cold, completely cold. Just get a spoon, and bring it over here, and I'll just show it to you. So that syrup will actually infuse in that, and if you leave it nice and, you know, overnight if you can. Uh, I did this last night, and what I did with the vanilla skin, I put it into it too. So you can see the way that takes on that lovely color and flavor. Okay, we're gonna get our brulees out of the fridge. And we're gonna glaze them. So when they're cooked, there's a slight little wobble. You let them sit in the water, take them out of the oven. And then what I did was uh, uh, drain off the water and then when they're cold, cover them and in the fridge. So I'm gonna show you how to glaze them. We're using this sugar. So this is the castanet. It's the pure sugar cane. It's the best one, I think so, for glazing the creme brulee. And this is the little dredger, sugar dredger. So we'll just do this one here. A nice even layer. Go right to the edge. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to use a blowtorch for this. So be generous with the sugar, okay? Using the blowtorch. It's a dangerous looking weapon. Sorry about the noise. We start off in the middle. It's much quicker then uh, blood placing them under the grill. And go to the edge, that looks gorgeous. So we'll do one more, sorry no, I nearly got you. Uh, we'll go to the start and then finish the edge. Because I have to look after my lovely camera lady there. Give her some creme brulee, so one more time. Start off in the middle and then move. If you get small little like low torches which are perfect. This one we just picked up in a hardware store and it's so quick. Because when we have this on for a Sunday lunch you could be talking about 50, 50 odd grand bullets and I end up maybe eating probably two or three of them. Okay that's it we're going to serve it up and um, you're going to have that lovely kind of crust on it. We're just going to get our little slate here and then we're going to put our little uh, compote. Oh yeah one thing I was going to do just into the compote we're going to put a little bit of mint. So mint works really well. So big leaves of mint, cut it really, really fine. And then this is gonna go into our poached apple. So this is the cold poached apple. So remember the creme brulee is in the oven. We'll take between 45 to 50 minutes to an hour. Honestly, that is that is the truth. It just depends. And then what we do is just let it uh, take it out of the oven, let it sit 
drain off the water when they're cold into the fridge. So that mint gives great freshness. And that lovely syrup there. So you need acidity because this is quite a sweet dessert. And then, which one will I go for? Put them up there. And then what you do just with a spoon, I had a big enough one, I nearly eat it with that. Um, you can just crack into it. And I want to show you this here. So you're listening. Can you hear that? So just crack. See the vanilla seeds? See the texture? It's really, really soft, creamy, it's light, it's delicious. Mm. Oh my God. That's my vanilla creme brulee with poached apples. It's so good. It's creamy. I love that cats and that sugar. Get that wee blow torch. It's just beautiful. Oh my God. I hope you try this recipe. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to finish it off now. So happy cooking. Enjoy the creme brulee. I think it's one of the best.